Hey, how are you doing boys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. So today I want to share with you a piece of software that has completely improved my experience as a mouse and keyboard player. This software can give you the huge benefits of using both low sensitivity and high sensitivity without any of the negatives both of them would normally come with. It can also just improve your current sensitivity and give you more position and accuracy at those certain ranges when you need it. Since using the software, it has definitely helped me improve my accuracy and position in game while also importantly relieving me of arm muscle fatigue. This is one of the big ones for me because I was really struggling with this. I highly recommend giving it a try if you're looking to try and improve your current aiming setup. And so let's just dive straight in and have a little look at it. So I'm going to be talking about Custom Curve, a complete sensitivity control from mouseacceleration.com. And I want to just scroll down quickly to misconceptions because I know there's a lot of people who, including myself about four months ago, would say mouse acceleration is a really bad thing and you should not be using it um, for FPS gaming. Okay, but let's just let's go through the misconceptions here. Mouse acceleration options are usually limited to checkboxes and sliders that apply a bad curve. Okay, they're not configured for gaming. This leads people to believe that mouse acceleration itself is bad. Yep, and I was one of them. Only recently, thanks to the innovation of custom curve, more and more people are realizing the benefits of a properly configured mouse acceleration curve. And this is me again. After using it, I'm now a 100% believer that is really, it just improves your, your experience as a mouse and keyboard player. It doesn't give you the negatives which you think, and it just amplifies your experience. So you're welcome to go through some of this stuff. It goes through what a mouse acceleration is. It talks more about the custom curve um, and you know why it can help you with gaming. I'm gonna leave the link to the mouse acceleration in the description down below. And we're gonna go over this in a little bit in a minute um, where you can download it and stuff like that. But I just wanna talk about more about the benefits of custom curve before we get into that. So let's go straight into why I think mouse, um, mouse acceleration custom curves are awesome. Okay, so here's a live example. This is now on a custom match private, just again, some bots, right? And what I want to show you is how the custom curve works. You can see at the top left, and when I'm swiping around, normally, whenever I'm like swiping to people or moving around the map, checking corners, doing 180s, you know, whatever I need to do, it's at the normal sensitivity, at my normal mouse sensitivity, which is in game 5.8, right? But then as soon as you slow down your mouse and you ADS and you're like looking around the place, it slows down your sensitivity and it gives it a lot better for position at those longer ranges. And so what we're kind of effectively doing is we're getting the best of both worlds. I have a really high sensitivity in game now. And so when I'm traversing around the map, um, just doing my normal things, I have a high sense, right? I can control it with my wrist i just done a 180 there see with literally no no hassle i didn't have to swipe across the mat didn't have to do anything i just used my wrist to kind of swipe and look over but then when i actually aim i can just you get the ads and you get the slowness then help and it just helps so much with accuracy and so we hear this person down below i'm going to try and track him he's over here And there you go. So what this does is it just really helps give you best of both worlds. You have the fast sensitivity, which helps you compete against the close to mid ranges. And then once you ADS and it goes down to more of the bottom of the curve, it then gives you that accuracy and precision you want, removing basically the negatives of fast and slow sense the negatives of fast sense are gone the negative of slow sense are gone and so you get kind of get the best of both worlds so i kind of hope this explains it to you let's now jump back onto the desktop okay boys and girls so now i hopefully sold mouse acceleration to you and the custom curve and you want to give it a try you want to head over to maceacceleration.com all right from here you want to go to the download section and then you'll come across the download light and the download pro now both 
are fine to use when it comes to the light i would when i was talking to the developer about this the light version is basically the demo right giving you a little um piece of the pie to try it out and see if you like it right and then you can download the pro version which gives you a lot more features now i actually have affiliate link with these now i did reach out to them to see if i could get one to see if i could reduce the price of the pro version for you and i have so if you do want to use the pro version just make sure you use code sinister at the checkout and then you can get yourself a nice juicy discount okay um to down to actually purchase the product key you just click the product key here and it will take you to the place where you can buy it all right but the, you, I would most probably advise just trying the light version, maybe giving it a go. If you're not too sure about this still, you can download the light version. The good thing is you can download both versions and have both versions actually installed on your PC at the same time, as long as they're both not running at the same time. That uh, is one of the um, negatives also from the light version is you do have to have the software running at all times to have it take effect in your games compared to the pro version where you can set up the custom curve pro and then just close it and leave it and forget about it all right so those are the differences so let's now head down it just has shows you some more differences here on what you get with the pro version compared to what you get with the light version feel free to browse and read through these okay and then download the one you want so i'm going to download the pro version um, and then as it says, it'll start to download it down here. So we just need to wait for that to download. Um, you also do have a guide just down here on also how to install and download this, but we will go through this um, in the video too. Okay, so this is now basically downloaded. So you wanna now go to show folder and I'll bring up this window here, right? Um, I have already done it. Let me just remove this one. Um, and then start again so when you see this just right click on it go to extract all click extract and let it do its thing and then once done it'll bring up this window here um but you can just close and i can just show you where it is so it just basically creates another folder next to the one you just originally had all right so we just now double click on that folder double click on custom pro pro installer or the light if you download the light and you should come across to this you just want to look for custom curve pro 3.2.1.exe or the light version right so this is what you're looking for the exe file at the bottom you don't need to worry about anything else here you're just looking for the exe file at the bottom called custom curve okay so you just double click on that and my screen will most probably go blank just there i've just got to accept it which i just press yes and then you come up to this click next click agree click install and then just let it do its thing again let it install and there we go it's now installed it'll ask you if you'd like to install the custom curve driver you want to definitely click yes and then you should see a reboot is required to finish installation click ok click create a desktop shortcut so it creates one for you click finish okay we can now remove these we do not need these folders anymore so if you want to save file space put them in your recycling bin get rid of them so they are quite big files and we now just need to do a reboot so i will see you back here once you reboot maybe advise saving the video to your, your, your save to watch uh, later or give the video a like um, and then you can then come back to it and find it as soon as you've done the reboot so let's do that now Okay, so we're now back at the desktop and I have installed both the pro version and the light version because I do want to show you the differences between them. Okay, so if we now go and open up the light version first, if we just double click on this and once you open this up, you'll already instantly start feeling the difference in your mouse. Okay, so this is how the software will look and it just shows you a curve. Um, and then you got where you, you got a file where you can load and save your curve. So if you modify your curve to your liking, you can save it. Um, just like I've saved mine on the desktop here. Um, you also have presets. So you have eight presets available to you. And each preset has an option for 800 DPI, 1600 DPI, 32 and 64. Okay, so depending on what DPI you're on, you choose that option. So if you want to go to preset one, for example, I'm at 1600 DPI. We click 1600 DPI and 
click OK, and this is the curve for you for that um, preset. So it does feel OK. It's not the one I would use. The one which is very similar to mine is preset five. All right, so I'm going to choose 1600 DPI. This is kind of similar to my um, my own custom curve, which I've created. OK, you can just click apply and um, yeah, you're all good to go. Now, one thing you do need to take note with the custom curve light edition is you do need this program running if you press cancel it stops the mouse acceleration and goes back to normal okay you do want to make sure you minimize it so it is below and running when you start using your games the negative to this though is it can use up a bit of cpu power okay so if you have a slower pc you may feel like this may use up a little bit more of your cpu if you're using the light version okay just something to take note now if you want to use my custom curve you can do by going to file clicking load and if you download the custom curve from my discord i will be in the discord in a certain section called custom curve just go to that section and you'll be able to download my custom curve okay so i'll put it on the desktop for now for me so i'm going to go to desktop and select it and it's called sin 1600 dpi all right so if you for example are running a higher dpi or a lower dpi than me then this custom curve is going to feel a little bit different to you it's going to feel um, different all right because this is built for 1600 dpi so the way to get around it if you are wanting to just test this out and use the light version just for now is you want to make sure that in game you're going to want to either double or decrease your sensitivity depending on if you have a higher or lower dpi all right so you're going to want to make sure that your site mouse software is set to 1600 dpi all right to get the same type of custom curve you then want to then go in game and just make sure that your sensitivity is doubled or halved so if you are at say for example 800 dpi you would want to half your sensitivity okay so if it's currently at say five you'd want to half it to 2.5 all right or if you are at 3200 dpi and you want to test mine you would then double your sensitivity all right so if you was at five you then go to 10 all right so that's how you would do it um but this is how the custom curve light looks like so let's now switch over to um the pro version all right so we cancel it and it now goes back to normal so here's the pro version just now open this up the first time it prompts you with the pro version it's going to ask for your um activation key you just paste in the activation key you purchase and then it'll bring you to here so as you can see here you have a lot more settings you have a few things where you can apply the curve um, to both axes or you can just apply it to um, the vertical or horizontal if you want to i have it set to both okay and then you want to also have things like persistent settings maintain settings after closing the graphic interlace this is definitely something you'd want to do right because if you tick this and click apply once it's done the apply and you click OK, you can come off the software and you still have the mouse acceleration curve still working. And it basically what this is going to do is when you start gaming, it's going to take effect and you're going to have less CPU resources getting used up compared to the custom curve light, which will have to be running at all times. OK, so it's open up custom curve pro. And then again, you still have some presets. You do have a few more presets with the pro um and then you can do the same thing again where you can load up my custom curves that's what we're going to now do is going to load up my custom curve go back to desktop load this up and then there we go right so that's my custom curve ready to go the other cool thing which you can do with custom curve pro is you go to file you can also tick apply settings at logon again this is something i like to do i want to just have custom curve pro on at all times because it's really good for all my FPS games and it's also really good for browsing the desktop. It makes it a lot more easier to browse the desktop if you're running at a higher DPI setting. So I want this running at all times so you can click this and this will now apply at all times and it'll also be on when you start up your computer. You don't have to worry about it. OK, so once you have loaded your custom curve up or your phone up curve you like from the presets or anything like that, 
you can then just close the software and pretty much forget about it and it's always there with you now when it comes to the dpi scaling with custom curve pro you can convert my custom curve to your dpi you don't have to change your dpi to 1600 you don't have to do anything in game like halving it or doubling it all you need to do is go to your options um sorry not options go to tools go to dpi scaling and here you put in the old dpi the old dpi is going to be the 1600 because this is what the curve is built for currently at the minute and then you put in your dpi under the new dpi so say for example you wanted to um, use this custom curve at 800 dpi you just then type in 800 and then you click convert and then okay and now this is now converted to a 800 dpi for you okay so you don't have to change anything you don't have to change your mouse software and you don't have to change anything in game um so i'm going to change this back to my 1600 so the old dpi is 800 because that's what we set it to currently i'm now going to change this to 1600 you can like i said change this to 3200 you can change this to 6400 it's completely up to you okay so i've now got this set back to how i want it and that is it that is now installed now if you have any questions regarding the custom curve pro maybe some issues or you want a, a custom curve for yourself maybe have someone help you out in regards to that the custom Perv website, the Mouse Acceleration website, has an amazing Discord, which you can click by just clicking the little Discord icon here. Um, and you can click on this and log in and participate in this and join it yourself. I would 100% advise joining the Discord because they have some great sections. They have um, support, suggestions, got profiles. So if people are actually um, posting their own profiles for themselves, you know, things that have been working well for them, certain curves and you can just download and use other people's custom curves too so i would hundred percent advise joining the discord if you do get into using mouse acceleration again guys let me know in this comment section down below what you think have you give us a go what do you think of it has it helped you with your aim i would for hundred percent advise giving this a go for at least a day or so just so you can kind of adapt to it and get the feel of it before giving like your conclusion straight away all right um it took me about half a day for me to a day um and i was sold and i will never go back to using the normal settings i was using um so let me know in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you soon for some more dmz